Welcome, welcome. I'm going to do a quick uh, demo of Leonardo. Um, it's a stunning um, AI image generator, very similar to Midjourney, uh, pitching at different audiences and pitching at different sort of market segments, but um, very cool software, very cool um, application for this in the real world, um, generating uh, graphics, generating artwork for your uh, business, for your site. Um, and just generally pretty powerful stuff. So, um, meet Leonardo.ai, it creates stunning game assets with AI. Um, obviously it's, it's quite targeted, quite niche, but you can generate quite a lot more content than that. Um, and as you know, the other one we're looking at is Mid Journey. Uh, so this has been around for a short period of time and um, also really awesome uh, software imaging tool to create AI generated art. Uh, so what we're going to do today is just have a quick um, uh, quick uh, comparison. I'm going to pop in a couple of commands and see what it comes out to. So um, if you haven't already, um, click the like and the subscribe button so that you can um, get more content like this. Um, I'll be looking to get more uh, AI tools um, sh uh, reviewed and um, some micro learning uh, material um, shortly. So let's launch up Leonardo. All right, so Leonardo comes into an interface like this. Um, I've got the trial version at the moment, um, but the um, options to upgrade are pretty reasonable. Um, and as you can see over here, it has a nice gallery. It's quite a nicely, finely tuned user interface, which I quite like. So there's a community feed, a personal feed, training data sets, fine tuned models image generation and then there's a couple of alpha and beta um, features that are being uh, built at the moment um, so these are the engines and the models that are creating uh, some of the images so you can see here there's quite a few different sort of types um, um, of um, engines that are generating the images um, and you can basically select which ones you want to sort of mimic um, so what we're going to do in the first instance is just do out of the box what does it do all right, um, you can obviously scroll through a whole bunch of um, created images and have a look at some of the prompts and some of the information that's been done just to get an idea of how to structure your commands. But what we're gonna do is click on image creation, image generation, sorry. Click over that over here. All right, so um, I've already copied this thing in over here. So we're gonna create a little charming rabbit with some glasses and um, a hat and like make it a cartoon character so all pretty pretty standard stuff um, the nice thing about this is it's got the file size or the image size that you'd like to choose uh, which I find quite handy um, and we've got four images that we want to create and um, we've got some um, how, how strongly the weight is prompted. So basically keywords in here are gonna be weighted accordingly. So we'll leave it all exactly as the item, um, as the defaults. And um, as you can see over here, it'll use four tokens to create these four images. So if we click on one, it'll create one token. All right, so let's just do one token for the time being. We're gonna use the Leonardo Diffusion model, keep the same style. So basically just out of the box, off we go. All right, so let's click on Generate. All right, um, so as you can see there, it's starting to generate and there's our cute and adorable little bunny. Um, he looks pretty decent. So if we open him up, uh, it will cost me some more tokens. All right, um, so let's just leave that for the time being. All right, so let's take this exact same thing. So all right, we can see here more or less what this looks like. Um, happy days. All right, let's go have a look at Mid Journey and see if we can do the exact same thing. So I've already logged in um, and we'll just go to the newbies 18 and oh, let's just open up the newbie 78 because I think this um, this thread is a bit quicker at the moment. Um, so again, mid journey, you type in forward slash imagine, and the prompt would come up. And let's paste in the same 
text as we did. Um, I've put in V5 uh, because that's the latest version of Mid Journey that we'd like to create the image with. So let's give it a go. I just realized my uh, camera's not on me, so that's a bit annoying. Anyway. All right. Um, let's click on enter. So what is this going to do now? This is ultimately going to pass the uh, prompt to the um, to the server. It's going to provide a image in a few minutes. So as you could see, Leonardo was quite rapid. Um, it's obviously dependent on the server, the time, every, and obviously all the images that have been generated at the same time. So let's wait for this for a few seconds to come up. And while you're here, you can always have a scroll around and see what other images other people have created. Um, it's always good for some inspiration and some ideas. Um, there's a gamer and people upload the images so again everybody this is a public forum so your images your queries your prompts are going to be visible here um, all right okay so there is our image okay so as you can see here it is a happy rabbit wearing a pirate uh, like a pirate and uh, he's got some glasses on so pretty pretty decent actually um, compared to that so take your pick you, you you may have your preferences for which image you like um, and which one um, which one suits your um, your style both in my opinion are pretty fantastic um, and again with mid journey you'd click on it and if you want variations you can just click on upscale um, so quadrants go left, left to right, so one, two, three, four, and you would choose which um, quadrant um, you would like to upscale and ultimately use. Um, all right, let's try a different, um, a different uh, prompt. So let's give it a prompt on a person, because I think this is where the, the real test comes in. All right, so waist high. Uh, all right, so this is something that I've uh, generated previously. Well, let's have a quick look at what this does. So let's go generate. And as you can see, there's the time elapsed. And it is busy generating an image. All right, so there's the image over there. Um, you can upscale the image. Um, improve images and again um, image to image and you can um, do some more um, items to this so again I've got the, the the free version of this so it's well worth a well worth a play um, if you would like to try these things so you can download the image from here so if I click on download that's what the image is going to look like so pretty decent um, first crack no fault no no other engines running here just straight out of the box uh, creating a, um, a a picture right let's give that a go in mid journey so again forward slash imagine and paste and I will use version 5 again so let's have a quick squiz here all right and it is waiting to start give us a go and see what it comes up with all right so as you can see it's already started generating the image i'm quite excited to see what happens i haven't actually generated one of these images So as you can see, it's generating, generating some more. All right, and that is pretty much what's happened. Okay. Um, all right, 
so absolutely stunning pictures here um, so these these items over the underneath their eyes um, is part of the image um, um, engine I've asked that you do a couple of things that are not quite the norm um, and as you can see here the difference is so you, you can see pretty decent pretty good understanding and the differences are obviously um, as you can see there so Leonardo I think um, definitely has some uh, better fine-tuned um, outputs at this stage um, but again both both are pretty pretty decent um, let's do one last thing and it's something that's going to be very simple so let's go imagine uh, my daughter at the moment is quite fascinated with unicorn so let's just go unicorn and we'll do version 5 and let's have a punt at that let's see what that comes up with and then while that's busy cooking let's go and do the exact same thing here and go unicorn and generate so let's see what this comes up with all right so there's your unicorn and um, yeah, it looks pretty decent so no further prompts no other image uh, filters or anything like that and here's the mid journey one and as you can see both really understood the prompt they understood the the, the question um, and ultimately presented an image that was uh, part of the engine's algorithm so again depending on what style you like no right or wrong you can choose which one fits your purpose uh, you can see a bit of a glitch over here so it looks like this horse has got one two three four five legs um, and um, yeah obviously it is a mythical creature so maybe this uh, mythical creature had five legs um, it's up to you to decide uh, so let's click close all right um, so we've got a couple of other options in here the um, stable diffusion different types of models all of those good things um, Leonardo style no style add negative so you can now probably say add a negative prompt um, uh, four legged horse and let's see if that fixes up that glitchy leg okay so it's uh oh it's a negative connotation all right so let's just remove that okay well we'll we'll, we'll dig into that for the next video see what kind of images and what kind of prompts we want to try and make uh, but again play around with it um, have a bit of fun as you can see two very different uh, tools um, serving a similar purpose um, one has got a bit more um, uh, freedom and and um, items to generate uh, with uh, the others um, more for the gaming environment so if you like this video click on like click subscribe um, we'll bring you we'll be bringing you more content in the future um, i think it's a great opportunity to have a squiz and play and micro learn new things it's all about learning new things right thank you very much for watching cheers